Frank Howard again. Dick Krzyzewski went home the other night because of the illness of his father. And we're sorry to report that Dick's father passed away last night. Breaking pitch, ground ball toward the hole, base hit in the corner. A fly ball for McCullough moves to second. Pitcher gets away from the center center as the runners move up. Down ball. Short stop. Maxwell makes the long throw to first. Run scores. It's one to nothing. It is too low on four pitches. Reggie Jackson drops. Swing. Jackson is running and the throw is off the mark and nobody was really over there covering Tate. Ball hits the right field. Jackson going back to tag up. Kaline is there. Jackson is going to make a run for it. Kaline throws with that good arm. It's cut off by Taylor as Jackson. Whoops. That hit his hand. That hit Mike's hand. That could be trouble for the A's. Looks like it's his first finger. And here's the play. Free end comes up throwing. Goes to second base with it. Tony Taylor comes in to cut off the throw and go back to the plate to try and get Jackson. And here's the collision again. And as you can see, Jackson beat the play, but as he slid, caught the left leg, the left shin guard of Bill Freehand, and I believe either his knee or his ankle. Left, you see. It's cold air. The call up in the hole. Long throw. Hendrick showing some speed, and his serve and cash is mad. And they're pointing a ball as though his. Here we see McCullough going to his right into the hole, comes up with the ball cleanly, and makes the throw. The ball is down low you see Norm Cash stretching and you see his foot there it's up in the air he's not on the base high ball league but actually the low ball league there's a drive to left field Hendrick can fly he's on his way around third Sinders up with the play the throw to the plate is there and he is safe with two to one team tennis on deck I'm sure today that Priman's going to be a little bit more careful with FC than Lolich was. If he does go inside, it'll probably be bad inside. Yesterday, after Lolich had pitched FC outside all day, thrown him a lot of breaking stuff and gotten him out, he looked like he tried to get the fastball in on him, didn't get it in enough, and Mike tied that ball game with a home run. Today, Woody making sure that the fastball's in on him actually hit Epstein with it the last time up. 1-1, one, one, that's a foul tip. 1-2. and two. Nick Williams. Well, his team jumped off to a 2 0 That one man left. We go to the last of the fourth, and now the A's lead the Tigers 2-1. to one. We're count of 2-0 in oh the batter's box, and Northrop on at first, and Billy Martin looking on. Who isn't? We all are. Bounding ball to Bando, fair territory, Sal puts it over on one hop to Epstein, and Odom is out of it. No runs, no hits, no errors, and Northrop left at first base. We've gone through four full innings of play in this deciding championship game at Tiger Stadium. Oakland leads it two to one. It's right in, ready to fire, but that's up high ball one. Jim, I think uh, little things like that are much more important on a hot day. I don't think uh, it'll be too tough on Priman today. There's uh, no chance of him being over perspired or anything. Ground oh. ball. This will be Epstein's play all by himself and has it. And Odom has a one, two, three inning. The runs, hits, or errors. We've gone through the first five innings of play at Tiger Stadium in Detroit in the fifth game for the American League Championship. Two to one, Oakland. In a moment, the Oakland Six, but now we pause for station identification. It's a ghost story when the wish at a wishing well is for a murder. Tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central Time. Center field, Northrop. Doesn't have moved too far for this one and has it. No run. One hit. No errors, and Bando left on first base. We go to the last of the six. Two to one open. Fouled off again. Taylor fouled off a half a dozen or so pitches last time up. 
carried Blue to a 3 2 count and then struck out of a high fastball out of the strike zone. It's 2 2 now. Wide center field, Hendrick going back. Oakland is the American League championship team. Pictures speak more than anything that we can say. The Oakland Athletics, the A's as a team, has not won a pennant since 1931. Led two games to none. Came to Detroit. Shocked by Joe Coleman in a tenth inning comeback yesterday. Get the run today, and are they thrilled as they go to the dressing room? And so Oakland will open against Cincinnati at 12:30 Eastern Time on Saturday afternoon. Hero, Blue Moon Odom, who held him to an unearned run for five innings. Hero, Bida Blue, who saved the game for him. Hero Gene Tennis, who had been 0 for 15 and guilty of an error yesterday in the 10th in the pass ball today, but who drove in the go ahead run. There are many heroes, and it's been a long season for the Oakland Athletics, but they've done it. They have won the American League Championship. For Detroit, well, I'm sure the Tigers, and I know their fans, are disappointed. But what a job they did in battling both Boston and Baltimore to clinch on the next of the last day of the season the Eastern title. And what a job they did to be down two games to done. It's over. It's done with. Uh, you're sorry. You're such a big factor for this ball club. I hope you get a chance to play in the World Series. Oh, so, uh, Sandy, I'll be, I'll be so, you know, so excited today. I don't know what to say. And I'm sorry what happened over. And thank you, you know, for coming here. I'm so, I don't know what to say. Kevin, I know you're sorry. I know you're sorry. I think everybody connected with baseball is sorry that it happened. Jim, let's go back upstairs. All right, Sandy, and we'll repeat again. The Oakland Athletics have won their first pennant. They went to Oakland in 1968. Prior to that, back to 1955, they were in Kansas City. And before that in Philadelphia, and you have to stretch way back in your memories or the record books to see that the last time the A's won a pennant was in 1931, their third consecutive in the days of Jimmy Fox, Al Simmons, and Lefty Grove. Many things happened here today. Many heroes throughout the playoff championships. Our congratulations to Billy Martin and the Detroit Tigers again with that sensational run and pressure-packed finish in the American League East. Again, to come back as they did in the playoff championships, especially in the 10th inning yesterday when they were down by two. But today belongs to Oakland. They are the American League champions with the final score in the fifth game. Oakland two, Detroit one. So this is Jim Simpson, along with Sandy Koufax, saying goodbye from Tiger Stadium in Detroit, Michigan. Game five was brought to you by your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Introducing Plymouth Satellite for 1973. Built to be seen, not heard. And by Gillette, maker of the Gillette Track 2 two-bladed shaving system. Remember, the 1972 World Series begins this Saturday afternoon in Cincinnati, Ohio. It'll be Oakland and the Reds. Coverage begins at 12.30 Eastern Time with World Series Report with Joe Garagiola. Join us right here live and in color on NBC. Fred's toothache is a pain in the neck for Lamont on Sanford and Son tomorrow at 8, 7 Central Time.